so we were talking about the digital aspect. I'll now leave the floor, not in person, but remotely this time to Luca Colombo, country director of Facebook Italy. Hi, Luca. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Thank you for having me. Everyone is talking about digital, but you have a privileged observatory. You see how consumers and companies shift and change uh, their behaviors. Uh, how did the behavior of consumers change in this second waves? We are in the midst of the second wave uh, of this pandemic. Uh, how do you see that? Well, um, looking at our platforms, if we were to sum it all up in two, uh, three topics, uh, everything that's e-commerce, transaction, uh, acceleration of purchases, was really an important driver in all of our platforms, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Uh, then messaging uh, was really key. So access to all platforms. We are a social network, uh, but especially the um, instant messaging with uh, Messenger and WhatsApp really increased 70% uh, of uh, time spent, 70% of, uh, of time was spent on these uh, platforms more than in the past. Uh, we have figures that are really uh, impressive. We reached a plus 50%, and that's quite impressive. We all know about um, lockdown chats, right? Yes, so uh, the conditions uh, changed. Our, um, we had a limited interaction with other people in real life, so we shifted towards um, instant messaging. I, I would say nothing new because there was a spontaneous reaction and this uh, really prompted many people who didn't really use um, these tools that much to use them, so a video chat increased, uh, well, doubled, I would say, uh, even for elderly people, they were maybe not so keen on using video, but they wanted to keep in touch with uh, their kids, their grandchildren, and uh, they then leveraged the, this technology. 10 years ago, such a crisis would have been lived completely different because we didn't have the tools. On the other hand, we are carrying out researches on the acceleration of e-commerce, uh, but that's nothing new. We already di mm, discussed that, but we witnessed an important acceleration. Maybe uh, it is worth mentioning that this is not specific um, for the luxury wood, but uh, in terms of uh, e-commerce, online sale, many people could not go to a physical store, so they were more uh, keen on digital exploration and could access uh, new stores. They extended their um, area, and we've seen that 57% uh, of um, purchasers uh, bought from um, more small and medium enterprises. So this um, really expanded our horizons. We've seen that uh, during this pandemic. And the figure is 57% of people um, who bought from new companies they've never bought from before because they had more product, more stock, or more uh, a better assistance. So the pillars are the same, but uh, nowadays, of course, you can get in touch differently with new um, companies. So small and medium enterprises had uh, facilitated access to e-commerce. So this helped us help them um, taking this step forward. Yes, 
if we look at the uh, digital acceleration, let me make this assumption. Uh, a lot of uh, stores w turn to e-commerce. At the beginning of the year, we had 140 million companies using Facebook or Instagram, and then uh, then they became 160 million, and now they're 200 million companies that use uh, advertising. That's for brand awareness and to push um, sales. We had eight million. Uh, companies paying for advertising, and another 10 million. This growth is quite significant, and this is a proxy to say that many uh, small companies, because 2 million companies means small enterprises going uh, digital, um, also had an e-commerce. So if we look at our figures, we can appreciate that uh, e-commerce grew because we are uh, going more digital. Are there any specific behaviors for uh, fashion and luxury uh, businesses? Could you appreciate uh, something in particular? Companies um, adapt to their the environment, so many companies uh, maybe could uh, ride the wave, uh, read the uh, conditions of the market to reach the customers in a more fitting way for, th for the customers themselves. So luxury did not do much. E-commerce uh, was, of course, a topic we discussed with many companies because we've seen an acceleration and increased sensibility on this topic. So we really discuss that every day. Uh, on the other hand, how to keep in touch with consumers, knowing that uh, customers are increasingly using um, is said messaging. For example, in China, WeChat is the preferred um, platform. In Italy, we use uh, WhatsApp more, but messaging is the main channel to keep a relationship, to maintain a relationship with customers, and luxury was no exception. So the platforms that uh, were already used uh, were strengthened, but we've seen an acceleration on how to keep in touch with customers. So um, instant messaging as a channel of communication. And then um, we've seen a focus on the adoption of e-commerce. The million of small and medium companies who went digital, do you think they will abandon the digital arena once this uh, pandemic is over and manage? Or do you think this trend will um, keep on? Will it keep what same, will maintain the same speed? Well, hopefully, uh, when we will go back to normal, so when we will be able to um, move around and circulate as we used to. So travel, when we'll go back to travel, that's another cuttlefish. But um, when we will be able to move around, things will change, of course. The numbers we see nowadays are due to the fact that people cannot move. People are limited. 
we will see um, a better balance. But I don't think we will go back to uh, how it was before the pandemic because uh, many companies and many c customers discover new tools and how convenient they are. Of course, it doesn't mean digital will replace physical interaction. I believe uh, we will find um, we will strike the right balance. So I don't think these companies will um, go back to how it was before the pandemic, because um, I think they were maybe forced to adopt digital or e-commerce, but they discovered in this way a new um, sale channel, a new channel to interact with the customers. So I don't think they will abandon um, this, this, these channels. Of course, you have to uh, strike the right balance and you have to look at the uh, bigger picture. So of course, we will not go back to how it was before the pandemic. We will not grow with this uh, pace, of course, because there will be no emergency, uh, hopefully. But an increasing number of companies will use this tool, these tools, and um, of course, the growth will not be as intense as it was over the past six months. But I think um, it will still be um, better than it was in 2019. So, how would um, fashion companies uh, tackle this? They will think. Uh, will, will need to think on how to um, interact with the customers. They discover that instant messaging is a good channel, but maybe they should uh, think on how to reach the customers, how they like to be contacted. And then the concept of community, uh, keeping on developing a community, uh, keeping on having uh, their brand ambassadors or uh, customers who love their brand and they should maybe nurture um, them and get in touch with them. So communication and creation of a community. I think this uh, is this is what we've seen as trends emerging from this pandemic, and I think they will continue um, even after uh, the situation is over. Okay, thank you, uh, Luca. Thank you very much for your uh, interesting contribution.